Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today right in front of you here we have yet another figure review um, just want to let you guys know uh, is that this actually is not an original Bandai figure as it claims here this is actually a bootleg version I got it on a chip for 55 ringgit including postage so that price would be maybe around the price of the Babatos Lupus Rex so yeah it's roughly around there um, so yeah definitely definitely worth to check it out I mean for the price of it and it doesn't look that bad but um, when I take a first glance there's actually a bit of scratches which I will show you after this so yeah right now first we take a look at the box art I mean it still looks awesome like that so yeah I mean nothing to complain about now the side here there's nothing it's just um, Dragon Ball Sun Goku figure arts and then at the back here we have the completed the figurine how it looks like so yeah looks I love this effect down here which it's awesome so yeah here looks exactly like a more orangey yellow so not sure how the color will looks like and then basically the top here is mostly the same and then yeah this is the shop that I got from um, best toy the Facebook page there that I saw so yeah without further ado let's cut open here we have one we have one tape over here uh, oops I think I cut the box which I do not meant to do that and then next year we have another part so yeah all the cellophane tape is gone now let's open and check this thing out so here it is we have the Goku figurine here is the close-up of it so yeah can't really show much to you guys yet let me just cut so here it is this is it the base for the Goku Super Saiyan 3 yeah and just so you know um, the fake version will have a cross base like that the real version it will be have you will have a multiple boxes so that's the thing that you should take note of and that's what I I read online if I'm not mistaken so yeah now here let's take a look at the Goku over here so yeah the hair here is not as good as you can see there's actually some chipping over here then there's a chipping over here so that's the only thing I can find out and then here as well we have the chipping over here this part here so yeah and then this have a look at the Goku face so yeah here is how the Goku looks like I mean compared to other bootleg um, Goku figures I don't think this is the worst not the best either so yeah I mean the cloth here it looks it looks um, rather dark, darkish blue I would say but actually it's not it's rather um, light blue so yeah I mean the hand the hand here otherwise looks okay and then yeah the back here you see they have some um, dust or what not sure then here there is some black color here chipping so you know maybe this could be a good platform for me to what i want to say uh maybe prime it and then improve this figure furthermore so yeah i'm not sure is this the right way to put the figure but it should be yep now it stays let me put further aside and then next year we have the effect part here okay this effect part actually looks looks the best among all I guess but then here you guys can see again it's chipping maybe I guess this is some really old stock and the owner did not clean I'm not sure but yeah nonetheless we just put it in here put okay yeah it fit yeah, it actually fit perfectly so that's good to see so yep the Goku is like that 
So yep, there is it. The Goku over here. And then, yep, back to the front. Then here there are few effect parts. Um, this effect part, where should it be? So yeah, after sp sp spending some time trying to locate the effect parts where to put in, yep, funny here it is. But um, sadly to say that um, there's one missing effect part. But yeah, um, not really a big deal. It still looks cool. So yeah, now we just take a quick 360 rotation on this. It's um, I can tell you that um, when I'm trying to put in the uh, effect part, I can, there is like a slight uh, plastic part. The if if you know if you bought before like the old school Pokemon like those China type, the quality is not that great. They have some kind of those um, plastic smell. I'm not sure if that really plastic smell or what smell, but there is some kind. Of, there is some kind of smell if you if you have bought um, Chinese the figure before Pokemon. Like I mentioned, that's that's the only example I can give because that's actually the first time I bought. So yeah, now just a simple 360 rotation done many times already. I would rate maybe six out of ten. The mainly how it got more than mainly just based on the kit alone. I would say maybe I would best 4, 4 out of 10 but because the effect part um, looks great so that's why yeah that's where I give the extra 2 rating but yeah nonetheless um, I'm not sure how I want to deal with this because it looks pretty bad um, let's put it this way uh, I can give you advice is if you want to buy Gundam um, bootleg Gundam is still alright but figure I really really wouldn't recommend you to get the bootleg figure so yeah um, that's it for this quick Super Saiyan 3 Goku so by before I end this video I'll do a quick close-up for you guys to see so yeah 